China said Taiwan has no basic or basis reason or, or right to participate in the Interpol General Assembly after the organization refused to give Taiwan observer status. Taiwan has demanded observer status at the 90th General Assembly of the International Criminal Police Organization. The Foreign Ministry of Taiwan said Taiwan is unable to receive updated and timely criminal intelligence to safeguard border security and enforce law and order because of China's political interference. In Beijing, the spokesperson of the Taiwan Affairs Office of the State Council said the channels for Taiwan region to participate in global cooperation to fight against crime are open and smooth. And he was adding that the Democratic Progressive Party authorities or Taiwan authorities have repeatedly hyped up and manipulated the so-called Taiwan's participation in international organizations. However, their plot will not succeed. President Joko Widodo ensured the distribution of fuel cash assistance across Indonesia have reached 99.7% of its target. The remainder will be allocated to remote areas and regions that are difficult to reach. Meanwhile, the distribution of wage subsidy cash assistance has reached 72% of its target. In his visit to Balikpapan in East Kalimantan, President Widodo distributed fuel cash assistance and wage subsidy assistance to 200 beneficiary representatives. Each recipient of the fuel cash aid is given 300,000 rupiah, and for each wage subsidy aid recipient is getting 600,000 rupiah. The president also had a dialogue with local residents of Balikpapan who were the beneficiaries of the cash assistance, and he reminded the people to spend the cash aid wisely, especially on staple goods, kids' schooling, and other basic necessities. In Balikpapan, there were 13,000 recipients of fuel cash assistance and as many as 49,000 recipients of wage subsidy assistance. Meanwhile, on the same occasion, the Minister of Manpower, Ida Fauzia, said that the distribution of wage subsidy assistance has reached stage six, which is distributed through state-owned banks with a total distribution of 71.5%. As for the remaining benefits for the recipients who do not have a bank account, the aid will be distributed through POS Indonesia, the state-owned postal company. Menyampaikan bantuan seperti apa dan juga BLT BBM. Dan sampai hari ini BLT BBM telah tersalurkan 99,7%. Jadi hampir selesai ini tinggal menyisir yang belum belum. Kemudian untuk bantuan subsidi upah sudah tersalurkan 72 persen. Sisanya ini terus akan kita kebut. Kita harapkan dengan uh, bantuan ini konsumsi masyarakat bisa terjaga, daya beli terjaga sehingga ini akan mempengaruhi terus pertumbuhan ekonomi baik di daerah maupun di negara kita.